Hi, I'm Ruby. Hello, I'm Kate. I would say it's almost like having the best possible worlds of a sister and a friend rolled into one for your entire life. It's kind of amazing. <laughs> so Ruby was born across the street the day before me. The only thing that doesn't make her my blood sister is that we were born of different mothers. From my earliest memories, she was just a part of my life, playing anytime we could be together. <laughs> hours dressing up, creating storylines for each other. Dress up and all this kind of stuff. It's just, it's magical. It's a beautiful day in this neighborhood, a beautiful day. For so I was basically only allowed to watch Sesame Street and Mr. Rogers. I'm pretty sure that was it. She came over to my house and those moments that we were able to watch more TV was kind of like, you know, my mom was off studying and my dad was still at work. And so there were windows where we could control the TV. It became sort of this magical thing that I would get to do when I went over to Kate's. I don't remember a ton of the different things that we watched, actually, but I remember the never-ending story. That, for whatever reason, that movie just hit me, hit us when we watched it, and we would watch it over and over and over again. It, would look, it was like a thing. Oh my gosh, yes. The Never Ending Story was a film that we watched <laughs> a lot. I think it makes sense because it's such a magical, beautiful story um, and just really connected with us. She's always felt like that person in my life, sort of like a, a life partner, you know? We shared everything. I will never forget the day that she moved away. I think my heart broke that day. I won't give up! Don't quit! I remember her family packing up and I remember Ruby had this pink bunny that she carried around with her everywhere. And I just remember watching her get into her parents' Jeep Wagoneer and actually driving away and just feeling my heart drop. I think it was more in retrospect as I got older that I sort of missed growing up there and I would you know, talk to Kate and hear from her what she was doing and sort of miss the activity of our little block and the community that was happening there. I was so happy. It's it's like a dream. It'll be the first time we ever live in the same city as adults. So to have that finally happen after all this time is amazing. As a friend, you know, she's like a partner for life. I don't think there's anything in the world that can replace that. Kate is an inc just an incredible human being. <laughs> she's right there. <laughs> we will absolutely watch the never-ending story together again. <laughs> it's gonna be really fun. <laughs>